I'm going to program a simple pick and place that picks up this steel shaft from this holder and will drop it down this ramp. The first thing to do is to start Robwin. So I'll double click this Robwin icon. This window here is the communication window uh, where you can communicate directly with the robot controller. So all commands that you send to the robot you can type at this point. For example, I can type start, which initializes the complete system. The next command is calibrate. This calibrates the robot to internal sensors. Ready sends the robot to a convenient position for us to start programming real application. The first step is to open a new project. Okay, we now have three more windows. They are called Roots, Places, and the Ed2 window, which I will come to in a moment. Move that to one side. Using the teach pad, I'm going to navigate down to the holder. First of all, I press J for jog, the, the J icon on the screen, which gives us a 10 millimeter increment. First of all, I select X. Plus is that way, minus is that way, Z minus is down. If I want to change the increment, I can press speed and plus. It's now 25 millimeter increments. X plus some Y, some Z. Now I need to make the increment smaller. And also, I'm also going to invoke a line mode which I can do with the function button. You see that straightens the gripper up. Y plus. Smaller increment. It's now one millimeter increments. Y and I test the grip. You press grip and then plus, which looks like a good position, and I need to record that position in the project. I've now added a new place called Holder and I want to give this place an approach position so that I can pull that shaft right out of the holder. So it is Z or Z only in a plus direction. Bigger increment. And that is a suitable approach position for that, for that place. The next step is to program a position for this ramp. So an increment of 25 millimeters.
I'm putting in some pitch. Down on down on Z or Z. A little bit long on X. be a good place to drop it. So I'm now going to teach that position as a new place name which I will call RAM. Now I need to teach an approach position for that ramp so that we don't go piling through it on our way to it. Up on on Z or Z. Back on Y. Uh, a bit higher. And I'm going to call that the approach position for the ramp. I'm now going to take the robot back to the ready position and put the shaft back in the holder. So I'll do that with typing ready and then ungrip and take the shaft and put that back in the holder. Now I'm ready to test it. So to pick up the shaft all I need to do is to type holder. I'm going to type a line again and then grip and then withdraw and go back to ready and then I'm going to put it into the ramp via its approach position and then ungrip and withdraw from that position and back to ready. So the complete pick and place consists in putting all these steps together in one word or one command. In fourth they're called words and we do that in the ED2 window. I'm now going to define a new word called task. This colon means add the following word to the RoboForth dictionary and the word we're going to add is task. That will be added to the dictionary and the definition of that word is other words that we've already created. So this is defined as holder followed by grip and then we draw from the holder and then go back to ready. Then we go to ramp, ungrip and drop the shaft off down the ramp and then withdraw from that and then finally back to ready and then the semicolon at the end means that is the end of that definition so I have now defined a new word called task which links all of those steps together in one go so all I need to do is to type task into the communications window and the whole pick and place will be carried out.